Hello and welcome to my workshop. Well, what I'm doing is uh, I'm putting all the wiring together in this uh, uh, CNC uh, mill conversion. And in the back of this old computer uh, case, I'm going to put uh, these aviation type plugs. Uh, this one with a, a full wire uh, is for the stepper motors. And this one with two wire. But there will be two wires on it. Uh, this is for the limit switches. These are the newer 23 stepper motors by Longs. Now Longs is a very respectable name in uh, these type of things, in um, computer controlled um, mechanical devices. Um, so I actually use uh, Longs motors and also their drivers. They're well proven and that's why I use them. So what I'm going to do today is uh, show you uh, what you can do with AtCam and that the 1690 CNC routers are pretty invaluable in uh, the, shall we say, the, the shop of the future uh, because they're going to be in everybody's shop uh, over the next 20 years, 10 to 20 years they're going to be commonplace. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, in AtCam very quickly how to put a very uh, short program together so I can show you a very basic job for shall we say a small industrial CNC router which is probably the smallest type I would recommend to anyone uh, you know any serious hobbyist um, because look the the 3030s 3040s and even some of the, thir the, the, the 60 40s are they're toys. They're, uh, the, you can do some things with them, yes, but they're still a, a, a toy, really uh, speaking. So the 6090 is probably my recommendation that would be the smallest uh, that you should buy. If you're a serious hobbyist or if you even want to start a part-time business or a full-time business for that matter. Um, so okay, I'll show you a little bit on AtCam, how easy it is to use and then how easy Mac 3 and um, and the CNC router is to use and how invaluable it is because I'm cutting a pattern of holes 16 millimeters in diameter um, in 1.5 millimeter plate that's not easy to do. You can do it with a hole saw, but yeah, it's not easy. Okay, here we go. When you have AtCam Express 2015 open, this is the uh, opening screen that presents itself. So what you do, you come over here to New Model, and you open a new model. And in our case, uh, that here I'm just going to put the dimensions of the actual plate that uh, I'm going to mount in the back of that old computer box. So in the Y direction it's going to be 100, 100 millimeters that is, and in the X it's going to be 130. Okay it's as simple as that. Uh, this doesn't really matter um, if you're doing a 3D um, model then you put this to a higher resolution. I don't really require it to a higher resolution now because I'm just cutting a pattern of holes. So you press OK and it will open it up. And there's your base plate material. And it's quite simply you come over here and select can you pick that up? You can just about pick that up I think. Right, here, this, uh, these are all drawing tools, manipulating tools, uh, painting, measuring, and drawing tools. So you just pick the circle. Actual fact, if you hold on to the bottom corner there, where you see there's a little arrow, it'll pull out more, you know, you can do an oval if you want to. But in our case, we want to do a circle. Just come anywhere on here and just draw a circle. Okay, I'll just move the camera slightly over that way. Now over here there's a, a dialog box now, and I've got it set at diameter, so whatever I put in here is going to be our diameter. Okay, in our case it's going to be a 16mm diameter. 
put 16 in there and press create. Okay, so there it is there. At this stage it doesn't matter where it is in relation to the to the, the, the drawing because what we want to do now we want to make a multiple of six. So we bring up this. This is um, block copy rotate. So what we're going to do is going to do a block copy. So in other words I want a square block copy of this hole. Uh, so and I can actually do it in a, in a circle if I wanted to. So I want block copy. So I pull the dialog box down and here it asks you um, the distance between the holes that you want. So in our case we want, let me see, 12 mil. I want 12 mil in the, the X, so 12 mil gap between the holes this way and 12 mil in the Y. So it steps down and puts the next row I want another 12 mil and I want two three columns three columns and two rows so that's going to give me a, a total of six so apply and there they are there I'll come over here and this is the uh, select button and then we draw a square around those and we've selected them now then we just uh, can use the down arrow and uh, side to side arrow to position them where we want. Now in this case there's no particular um, it's just roughly in the middle there and I'm sort of thinking to myself well okay we're gonna space these out a little bit more I think so yeah a little bit up there and a little bit down there, a little bit more, a little bit more. So you can manipulate them to suit yourself. I mean, it's not specific. Nothing is specific with some. Um, nothing is specific here because it's just really a couple of holes in a pattern that looks okay to me. Uh, but if I want it to be specific, I can. I can come up here to this rule and pull down, okay, a guide uh, bar then, and it will tell me exactly where I am. And I, I can pull as many as these out as I wish. And it will, it, it's, it's uh, lines that will assist you to to put uh, items wherever you want and you just simply get, a, get rid of them by going like this and like this. So there. Uh, there's a hole there that I didn't mean to do so we're going to come up here and we're going to edit and we're going to delete that one. So okay so we've got our select tool on so now we're going to select all of them and we are going to go up here and touch that, which will bring us this type dialog box up. So what we want to do is um, we want to create a, a profile tool path. And this is the profile tool path um, dialog box. So at the moment it's preset to outside, so we don't want to cut the outside of it. We want to cut on the inside of that line. So we have a choice of actually cutting along, inside or outside. So we want inside. Allow it's, no, it's not really specific in, in this particular one. Uh, start off depth is, depth is zero and the finish depth is, well I'm going to go 1.6. 1.6 because uh, I know it's 1.5 millimeter but I want to go all the way through. Uh, actually before we go any further, um, what I want to do is I want to set it up. I don't want to start on this bottom corner. Uh, I want to start in the middle. And you can do this at any point before you you run the tool path. Before you, in, in other words, before you calculate the tool, tool path. Um, so middle, millimeters, okay, that's done. So now we can, and if you notice the measuring 
device here has gone zero zero so it lines up with the actual middle and that's where the start of the program is going to be and that is where the zero point of the program and where we zero the tool um, none of this really matters so what we actually want to do now is want to choose a tool and we're going to use a three millimeter end mill select now we go back in here and we can this is where we set up um, the step over and we can leave this blank it doesn't matter it's going to do it in one uh, one cut step down now then we're cutting into aluminium not wood if that was wood uh, that would be fine 2.2 millimeters into into timber is absolutely fine uh, with a 3 mil aluminium you're gonna snap it off so this is where the little bit of um, I suppose experience comes in you have to be vigilant of the material you cut in and how fast you can cut it and even down to what depth you can cut it and the spindle speed this will come with experience so step down <laughs> a three millimeter this is a three millimeter end now it is very 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 small so it doesn't take much to snap it off so what we're going to go is go zero point zero point two five that's a quarter of a millimeter so that's um, I think that's somewhere in the region of about um, uh, 18 thou, something like that, or I think. It might even be 20 thou. Yeah, I think it's about 20 thou. Um, feed rate, 17 millimeters a second is a little bit fast for that tool. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down to 2 millimeters a second. That is, you know, I mean, I can st in Mac 3, I can start that off at 25%. Uh, uh, so that'll be 0 0.5 of a millimeter per second. So, and I can take it up to 300% of that, 300% uh, of this, that is. Uh, plunge rate, mm, 1. Um, RPM, I haven't got the spindle set up on my computer, so I won't bother about that. Um, climb milling is fine. This one is an absolute must. You don't want to just go digging the uh, the tool straight in. Uh, so here, one millimeter, one millimeter. So this is going to move around the arc, one millimeter one way, one millimeter the other way, in a zigzag pattern. Okay. We don't know where bridges set material. Oh, hang on, that's that's okay. This is the material. This is this is where you can set the home position. The home position is going to be zero zero and twelve millimeter above the material. Uh, for moving from A to B over the material, five mil. That's all fine. Can't find. If I wanted to change that, I can at this point. Now this is uh, asking. Well, what how thickness is the material? Well, I'm going to say there's 1.6 because otherwise it might come up 0.6. It might come up with an error code. So, and material serial, top of the material. Um, model position in the material in the top. We want to start from the top. So that's all okay. And there we go. So there we go. Uh, cut. One and it's a three millimeter. End mill. It's just a very, very abbreviated um, description of actually what this is. And it's as simple as that. It's done. That can go. Let's go into 3D. And we can run the simulation now. And 
and we get the simulation from down here. Simulate all toolpaths. There it is. It's aluminium. So here to manipulate this now, if I come up to here, it looks like a little world. Click on that, and now I can move it around all over the place. And it is a piece of aluminium, so it's the right colour as well. And there we go. Simple as that. Now all we've got to do is save the toolpaths to a, a USB stick and put it into Mac 3 and we'll cut it. Thank you.